So how was the weekend in Tallahassee for you? It was great. I really enjoyed it. Honestly, it was kind of a little bit better than I expected. I know you've been here a lot. You have familiarity with the place. What did you want to get out of this weekend? What did you want to learn about it? What was the feel you wanted to get from spending about 48 hours here? Oh, uh, really? I've been here multiple times. It was just getting more time to spend time with like the players alone, away from coaches type of thing. And just building relationships to see how the people truly were away from you know just the football facility. Who did you spend the most time with? Oh, I spent a little bit with, with a couple guys, but really mainly KJ Kirkland and KJ Simpson. Both freshmen, what did those guys tell you about what it's been like for them since their arrival here? Oh, they've been telling me that they really enjoyed it and it's not too far from where it's really exactly how they were recruited. It's, it's pretty much the same thing as what they're getting here. You've been on five official visits now. What kind of stood out about Florida State that maybe compared to some of your other visits? <laughs> um, of course, it's going to stand out a little bit more just because of the in-season visit and it's games and stuff like that. So it's just a little bit different compared to everything else that's in the summer. What did you think about the environment yesterday during the game? I mean, I've been here for a couple games, yeah. so it, it, I definitely wasn't expect. I was expecting it to be lit, but it, they they did their normal thing. During during a game, do you focus on the D line? Do you just watch it in general? How do you kind of go about the game experience? Oh, of course, I'm watching the D line, but just really overall the game as well. The playmakers all around the field, so just watching everything. What do you take away from what they do up front defensively? Oh, they they have a great way of creating mismatches and, and getting what they want out of the offense. Have you had any more conversations with Coach Fuller or Coach Pappy this or even Coach Bell about how they plan to use you, uh, you know, similar to Jared Burris on national paper? Uh, definitely. They, I mean, they, they tell me that I could be used all across the line in different ways depending on the formation and, and things, of that, things of that nature. But, I mean, it really comes down to uh, how they want to use me when I get here and depending on the situation. When you sat down with them, did they show that on film? How did they kind of go about demonstrating that to you? Oh, I've, so this time I've been here a couple of times and we went over and watched film. So it wasn't too much of just sitting down and watching film, of course. But of course we had a little bit of that going on. It's just saying that they were really showing me, of course, and much telling me how they could use me and just showing me different things, different formations, and how they're developing guys. Your relationship with them runs over a couple of years. So what has it been like to watch them evolve and improve as a program? Uh, of course, it's great being a recruit. That's kind of a u unique situation because, of course, they're, every school is going to tell you what they're doing. And of course, they kind of recruited me early on, so I kind of get to sit here and go through it with them, I guess, and see it fall in pieces, fall, fall, fall you, in the right place. You meet with Coach Norvell this morning? Yes. What was kind of the exit message for you? Um, Just that I could be a guy, and, of course, just a little bit catching up. I mean, he's been recruiting me for a minute, so not my first time sitting in his office, so just a little bit catching up and just talking to him. How are you feeling about this place as you start to go into decision mode? Um, I definitely. I mean, they've always been up there. I, I definitely would have taken an official visit if I wasn't really serious about it. So it was just getting getting up here and seeing it one more last time before I made my decision. As, when, as you've gotten closer to making a decision and having this, your fifth official visit, how has it benefited you to have a dad that's got a football brought down as a football coach? And how does he help you filter anything as you get ready to make a decision? Uh, I mean, he's been through with me throughout the whole process. So, of course, just showing me what, why they do this and what why this happens and is that real or this and that and why he's saying this and that. I mean, it's just, of course, it's, I feel like I'm blessed and to be in that position is definitely a unique experience. I don't think probably not a lot of recruits get. You've thrown October 18th around some for a decision day. Is that the plan? Uh, sometime after that. That's my actual birthday, but I don't think it's going to be on the day of. Still in this month, though? Yes, sir. Is it going to be between the five or are you kind of focused on, you know, a few less than five? Um, right now, it's, it's definitely five right now. I might come down in a couple of weeks and narrow it down, but I think I was right now, it's definitely five. With five officials in the rear view and a lot of experience with those five schools, do you have a pretty good feel for who you think it's going to be at this point, or what does the next month hold for you? Honestly, no. I mean, I, there's still a lot of thinking and writing down the way and this and that. Uh, it's definitely going to be a hard decision for sure. Now, do you have any plans to take any unofficial visits again before you make your decision? Not, no, I don't think so. Okay.